So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to the link, which will be down below in the description. Now once we're here, you're gonna scroll down till we find the download. There's gonna be a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version right here below it. So to know which one you need, you wanna head over to search and type in system information, click on it. And then once you're on this, next the system type is gonna be telling you. So I'm on 64-bit, so I'm gonna begin the 64-bit one. If your one says 86 or 32, then you wanna get the 32-bit one. Most of you guys will also be on 64-bit like me. So I'm gonna get the 64-bit one. I'm gonna click on download. It's now gonna start downloading automatically in five seconds. And now we should have the download right here. If it did not start downloading though, you wanna click on download right here. It will then start the download for you. Now once you have the download, you now wanna right click on it and then click on show in folder. And we should now have this. Now once you have this, you now wanna right click on it and then click on extract all. You can now untick this and then click on extract. We're now gonna be having this new folder right here. And then once you have the new folder, you wanna double click on it. Now we're gonna be having the wmvcore.dll file. You now want to right click on it and then click on copy. You want to copy this file. And then once you copy the file, on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down and then click on this PC. Now you wanna find the drive where you have Windows installed on. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. Double click on that drive and then click on Windows. And then once we're here, you wanna scroll down till you find System32 and System64. Both these folders right here. You want to paste what you just copied into both of these folders. So system32, once we're here, you just want to right click and then click on paste. I already have it in my folder, so that's why it says this, but in your case, it should not be pasted. In my case, I'm going to click on the place the file in the destination and then continue. It will now be pasted. Now you're going to go to the Windows folder, scroll down and then find sys 64 and then do the same thing. Double click on it, right click and then paste. I already have it here again, so I'm going to click on replace, continue. And now that file should be pasted in both of these folders. And now for the next step, you're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. And then once you run this, you're going to type in reg svr32 space wmvcore.dll. Click on enter and then click on OK. Now you just want to restore your computer and then the problem should be fixed.